Another tool to adjust the values in an image is the HDR toning tool. Now HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and this is a new tool here in CS5. When you're working with High Dynamic Range what you're talking about is imagery that have really good values in the black side, really good values in the, in the white side, the light side, and then good values in between. Now there is another tool over in the automation tools that allows you to actually combine. Let's take a fast look at where we can find that. It's just off screen actually. It's just down here. It says merge to HDR. Just off screen on the automate. What that does is it allows you to take several exposures, several pictures at, of, at different exposures and then combine them into one picture. Let's say you had a picture in a room and there is a, a shadow area in the room. That you, so you expose the room for the shadow area. So you had good exposure in the shadow area. You then expose the room for the mid-tones in the room. And then you did another camera shot which was exposed properly for the bright light outside the window. So you could then see outside the window properly. You can, by using the combined to HDR, combine those images together. Photoshop will then take the best exposure parts of each image, combine those together into one image you now can do that same kind of a thing here on just one image itself. Photoshop actually will look into the quality of the image, into the values, and into the information in the image and allow you to do that kind of a stretching of the range in here, the HDR, and then tone the image using the HDR settings. There we go. Now right down here is a histogram at the very bottom. It's kind of hard to see this histogram. But it works like we were using over in the curves earlier on. Simply click on the curve. You can then adjust the curve by clicking and pulling on the curve. Just close that one out of the way. There's with and without the preview. I'm going to pull this off so you can see a little more of the image. Here we go. A few defaults in here. Here's a flat setting. Here's a monochromatic setting. Here's a high contrast setting. All of these things can be achieved with this HDR toning tool. Here's a saturated effect of increasing saturation. Photorealistic high contrast. Here's a low contrast. Photorealistic just kind of, kind of punches everything a little bit. Here's a saturated level, increases the saturation. High contrast, low contrast. So you get an idea of the range of adjustments that you can do here using this one control. Here's a surrealistic effect. I'll put it back to the default settings. There we go. And now we can work with the edge glow, the tone and detail, and the color. So we have our vibrance and saturation. This is just like our vibrance and saturation tool we looked at previously. Shadow highlight and exposure. This is very much like the shadow highlight control which we just looked at. And then we have this edge glow radius and strength which is kind of new in here. So you can kind of combine a few different tools all in one tool here. So we can increase our vibrance a little bit or decrease the vibrance, increase or decrease our saturation a touch. We're bring the saturation down a little bit, I think. We can increase the brightness of our highlights or de decrease the highlights. We can darken the shadows down or increase the shadows. Well, let's darken our shadows down a little bit. I think that's a little bit better. Detail tends to increase your contrast a little bit. As you can see there, here's real low, here's real high. So a little more edge contrast in there. Increased exposure brightens the image up. Decreasing it darkens the image down. We can do a gamma shift in here, which is your, your white shift. And then adjust the edge glow. This is the effect right around the edge of the pixels. If you really push these things, you get some special effects happening. Here's a lot of edge glow. Large radius on that. Let's 
small radius, a lot of edge glow. So by using these different tools, you can come in and really kind of fine tune the look. Again, it's a very interesting new tool. allows you to do a lot of fun stuff in here. And you can either use it as a way to clean up your image, or you can use it as a tool for some special effects. Let's just push these things to the sides, and you'll see how far this can actually be taken if you want to. to create different special effect looks. There we go, a lot of detail. Bring the highlights down a little bit. Adding a lot of vibrance onto that. So very much a special effecty kind of a, a feeling here by pushing these things out to their limits. So there you go, that's this new tool. Again, I think there's a lot of possibility in here. bring these things back into the normal range again. There's a lot of possibility, I think, to use this as a real great tool for cleaning up an image or for actually doing some special effects work. Just, just keep aware that you want to kind of move your controls back and forth a little bit, see what they do, see what they're affecting on your image, and then you can play around with that and take it just the effect that you want. Just like that. Again, interesting tool and that is here under adjustments and it's the HDR toning right there. Okay, let's just undo that toning. There it is.